All right, sorry about the audio. Um, it's really bad. But we're going to build something my wife has been wanting for a very long time, and that is a hall tree. And uh, something we can put shoes, and we can sit on it with a bench, hang our coats and our book bags. But we also don't want kids to fall over the handrail into our cellar axis down the back side. So once they sit on the bench, we want to make sure we have a place that will keep them from falling down the back side. So there's not a level piece of concrete in the step. Uh, it drafts out at multiple angles and it slopes. So we got to build it in place uh, using our plan, we're going to have to kind of modify it as we set it together on uh, on the concrete as we set it up. So the van's gone, and I'm going to move the welder over, and after we cut everything out, we're going to start tacking things together in place. All right, so um, I drew up a sketch. And... Uh, you can see kind of how we have uneven surfaces because we have a step plus the top step plus the floor. We want three shelves and a bench. And then we've got a coat rack up here at the top. I've got a few uh, overall dimensions kind of pulled up. Um, and uh, yeah, and here's my official plan but it's not super official it's okay but uh yeah i'm gonna have to what i think i'm gonna do first is make my top seat the three shelves and then get the front legs the one that's on the step and the one that's up on the top 17 inch and then 24 inch um and then i'm gonna have to maybe kind of tack things around um, and then check for level and square and then, you know, try and put this in. So the, the seat remains level and the racks remain level. You know, these might be at a different height than what I have here, but, uh, yeah.
All right, so we are done ish with our little mudroom project here. I've already uh, cut the wood for it, and so that'll go in. We'll uh, sand it down, paint it, um, get all that stuff situated once we uh, have this off the powder coat. You can hear the fireworks. Uh, it's 4th of July, and everybody closed down for the holiday, and I missed uh, a pickup of a project and dropped this off. By like five minutes so I'll uh, I'll take this in on Monday and I'll get it uh, painted but uh, we added the hook rack now this is on the back of the door and I basically just cut off the door hooks and welded it on and um, I think overall it turned out pretty good um, So yeah, I put that little center support in just to make sure it didn't sag across because it was kind of a far distance. Um, I put that nice little curved detail to give us a little extra room to get some more shoes in. Uh, and originally, so uh, originally I was going to have three shelves in it, um, but... Uh, the dimensions on this, like I said at the beginning of the video, nothing over here is level. The You can see how much, maybe you can't see. Anywho, this whole step comes out a couple inches, sloping. And uh, the height that I wanted it at, I wanted it at 17, it wound up being at 16. And uh, everything kind of just sloped down. I didn't make this one long enough. I guess I could have gone back and cut another one of these corner legs, but I didn't. And so I just kind of trimmed everything down. So it was going to be 17 to the uh, the top of this, but now it's 16 plus the wood. Uh, it'll be a good bench height. Plus with the little kids, they'll be able to get on there. I like this is like some... Uh, this is some uh, cattle fencing stuff. You get this. Uh, you get this at uh, like Tractor Supply, Cow Ranch maybe. Uh, it was like twenty bucks for a sixteen foot sheet, or whatever, sixteen by five foot, four foot. So I trimmed that to fit in. I'm going to use the drop piece for another project coming up. But uh, my I thought would be that once I get my jackets and hats and blah, 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 that I can get some carabiners or some S-hooks and I can clip uh, elsewhere on this grid pattern and kind of hang whatever I wanted from the back of that. Uh, so I think once we get it painted, um, it'll look really nice. Uh, the only thing that I got left to do is drill holes in these feet to anchor them down. Put a foot there, but I'm probably not going to use it, considering that I think uh, those two feet and that one foot cemented or anchored in will be enough. So there we go. There's our project. I think we're done.